Good evening, it's Michael here from Michael's Card Art. And I wanted to have this video up a couple of days ago, but um, I ran into so much work and I've only just come back from the Stampin' Up! on stage. And that has been an all-day affair and we're back again tomorrow. But I let me just tell you, those of you who are Stampin' Up! demonstrators, the new catalogue, we got our hands on it today. And just let me give you a word of warning. You may need to take out a mortgage or a second mortgage uh, because the stuff in there is brilliant. And there's some it's a new layout, it's a new look, and it's got some fantastic stuff. So needless to say, the next phone call I make on Monday will be a call to the bank manager to say, must have, please release more funds, regardless of how dire you think my situation is. <laughs> Just letting you know. But you have been warned. Now... Um, this is, it's from the Cheerful Daisies set that I'm doing, and this card has a lot of texture and a lot of layers in it. And I think what people are wanting to know is how I pulled the whole thing together. Although if you look at it closely, you may be able to determine and identify some of the work that I've done, but I'm going to uh, go through and give you the detail on it. I've done this for my cousin, she doesn't know it yet, so, um, so th there's that for her, and I've also got somewhere here oh here it is a corresponding envelope and i've done the gold embossing on the back so that she's got a complete picture of uh, her birthday card or a complete uh, stamp uh, sorry a complete card and envelope to go with that so um let me give you some measurements because once again i haven't gotten around to doing that in uh, the transcript however this is a single fold card for me, and it's this rule that I use for all single folds. I've got the base card is 13 by 21 centimeters. This card, uh, to give me the border and to give it some impact and oomph, this is 12 and a half, uh, 12 and a half by 10 centimeters. And this card is 12 by nine and a half centimeters. Okay, so you've got that. Now, I've taken the liberty to stamp off and cut out all of the pieces that we need. And it just, for me, it just saves time. I don't, you don't need to sit here and watch me babble on and, and cut and stamp and all that. However, I will do a little bit of stamping and I will do a little bit of embossing for you just to show you where I've, um, what I've been doing to give you that background texture there. So, if you don't have Stampin' Up! or this die and uh, stamp set, there are many other products out there that you could use to give the same effect of layering and texture. But I will say, as I said before when I posted this card originally, this to me is one of the best Stampin' Up! Um, stamp and die sets, floral stamp and die sets that I've had the privilege of using just saying and it's um it's still available even though it was in a previous catalog all right let's get started so the first thing i did was and i'm going to keep this card here just as a bit of a reference for you the first thing i did was to do the stamping over here on this side so let's get started with that and in my haste to make sure that this is not a tedious process, um, I will try and be fast and efficient with my time. So we're going to use a number of the stamps and it's these ones, they're three little daisies. And we've got the large one and this is a like a two-step stamping process so i've got the large one here and which is sitting behind this one and i've also taken the time and liberty to use this one which is a smaller one here and i've also stamped uh, this one and this one all right so we'll have those in the background and you'll see what i mean when i say two-step stamping process we're going to do that first and the last part we'll do is the gold embossing on the script Okay, so let's get started. The colors that I've used here, uh, this is a soft suede. 
for you stamping up demonstrators, the soft suede. And I've, for that was for the little daisies. So let's do a couple of those and get those underway. And here we go. Very simple. That's a soft suede. And just anywhere at random on the card. And there was a couple others. I'll just bring those over here. Okay. Wash those. There goes the um, the medicinal glass of wine. About to go on the floor, but I've rescued that, so nothing lost there. Okay. Now, what I did for the larger pieces, I've used a, a darker... Uh, neutral colour, which is early espresso. So let's get that underway, and this is where the two step stamping will come into play. And alright, so the big, it's not really the right one I need. Here it is hidden away. So I used the big one and early espresso. And around about here. There we go. And that done, I've used... I'll come and do the yellows shortly, but let's finish off with the, uh, the smaller daisy flowers. There's one here. And we've got uh, this one here, which is the outline. So the small uh, half daisy. And that has just, um, it was placed somewhere around here. Okay, there you go. Now let's get the other part of the two-step process. And let's start with this one. Now this, what I used here was, well, the yellow I used was Daffodil Delight. And that was the fill-in piece for these ones. Now, I'm trying not to get too in the road of this. Bring it down, and there you go. Okay, now, it doesn't have to be exact. How do I know that? Because <laughs> I just said it doesn't have to be. And we've got this one here. And some more Daffodil Delight. And that's going here. Now, the tricky part of this is you've just got to find... A, where it sits and sometimes I can fiddle with this for a couple of minutes before I find the right there it is a little bit light there on that side but that's okay and the fill for the larger one is this okay and the way I recognize that is because this looks like an M to me and there it is there and we're coming down and that's it touchdown okay there you go that's that all right so we've got our little daisies we've got this now you just need to finish off and with the dark brown again the early espresso uh here we go i'm just going to put in the center daisy piece. I'm not sure where that fits, but I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And I'll just get the smaller center stamp for the other ones. And where is it? Oh, here it is. I think that's the one, yes. And we're just a little bit of ink and I'm applying it here. There you go. And There you go, there. Excellent. So that is the stamping done. Now, what we're going to do is the gold embossing. Now, what you might have noticed, I'm just putting all of this away now, these stamp pads. What you may have noticed is this is gold embossed script. Now, I did use a Stampin' Up! script um, stamp set, but I don't have that one with me at the moment. I've lent it to a friend. So I've, I'm going to use 
another one, another script set, source unknown. So please, I can't tell you which one it is. Now, what we're going to need to do here, because we're going to be embossing and we're going to emboss with gold, we need to give the card a good swipe with um, the dust from the um, embossing buddy here, just to get all the grease from my finger, uh, fingertips and anything else that may have settled on there uh, as I was working with this card. Now, notice the script is not, it's sort of like on an angle here. So when we stamp, we're going to be stamping uh, in this sort of manner down here. And the width of this allows possibly two um, two rows of this. Now I'm just making sure that's up the right way. All right, so let's apply some Versamark uh, to that so that our powder, our embossing powder, will adhere to our work of art. All right, so I'm just very random-like. There's no real law and order to this. You may not be able to see it just yet, but that's okay. You will see it once we get the... Yes, I think that's good. Okay, let's just wipe that off a little bit. And I will now apply the embossing powder to it. All right, here we go. My embossing tray with my trusty silver spoon. Is it silver? I don't know. Maker's Mark says it is a silver of sorts. Okay, and then I'm just applying the powder like this. And there we go. Beautiful. Now give that a bit of a tap. Now, that's good because... It has, the powder hasn't adhered itself in an unsightly way across the background. That's great. Give it a good tap. There you go. Now, I'm going to fire up the, <coughs> my hot shot and just give that a blast. Please forgive me. Um, I don't know how to pause the sound, but so you're going to hear this for a bit, so sorry. Now what we're doing here is basically heating up the embossing powder so that it, it adheres to the Versamark uh, where we play uh, overlaid it. And you can start to see that's changing color already, which is exactly what we want. It's starting to solidify and we'll just do that to the rest of the card. Here we go, it's just about done. Great. All right, well, thank you for putting up with that noise. I think we're just about there. Last couple of steps. Great, that's done. Now, we have got some more embossing to do, but not just yet. Now, what I wanted to give this a bit of a retro look. And so what I did, I got my palest of yellows, the So Saffron, and I'm going to get a bit of crumb cake. And I'm going to apply those with a blending brush. The first one to go on will be the So Saffron. And I'm just going to lift these out of the road and lift this off because there's a little bit of powder. There you go, all done. I can't wait, as I demonstrated, to get one of those glass mats. Um, I just desperately want one. Everyone who's got one has said it's brilliant. And yes, anyway, 
we'll see what Father Christmas can do or see what Stampin' Up! can do. Now, all I'm doing is just giving that a little light burst of colour. And you'll see the very lightest shade of yellow appearing across that. Now, I want to... And that's... As a purist would say, why did you just use the same brush? Well, because I did. Um, and I like, look at that, you've got a bit of an aged effect happening already. Take some of that crumb cake, crumb, crumb cake across the other side, and uh, there you've got it. That's the look that I wanted. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to put these away. Sometimes. I don't know whether I'm getting old or whether these things are getting harder to close and open. Right. Uh, that was so saffron. There it goes there. All right. We've now got some semblance of what we started with. Okay. These are the pieces that I've cut from the Cheerful Daisy set. And it's this, this, and this uh, is made up of that. You will notice this doesn't appear, this little leaf thing and I'm going to remove that because well, I just don't need it I mean you could use it but I didn't but nothing gets thrown out here it will be used in another um, another piece all right so the card it doesn't necessarily need to sit over this or anything like that you can put it skew with as, as there so that you've still got some layering underneath it and I think that's possibly what I'm going to do I'll show a little bit more of that you've got that in the background um, what will happen with this is I'm going to and I've cut these out as you can see I'm going to apply this to the um, top of these flowers this is a uh, yellow daisy no it's daffodil to the light um, cardstock and on this one I applied the center of the stamen center if you like at the last minute but this one I'm going to put it in here and have that sitting there like that and I think that is a more realistic and then uh, where are the other two here there and I've got a cut out of this one here and this one here okay these are the smaller ones oops there we go that goes in there like that so and then these go on top now in the name of layering and texture and height which i'm big on i'm f opening up the uh, flowers by just getting the bone folder and giving that a bit of a stretch and straight away you've got some height happening gently does it but do this with all of the uh, flowers and something similar to that now and you will also notice we're using vellum and the vellum will sit on top of that but what I've done with the vellum and this is that other part of um, um, embossing that we need to do is I've taken you can see here I've got gold on the vellum here now some people have said you can't heat vellum well I'm going to show you that you can so let's do that first um, we're going to take those off because we do need to glue them I just wanted to show you how that would be applied I've purchased from uh, America a embossing pen or a versa mark pen and what I did was on these flowers in the vellum the die set has um, imprinted some grooves now all I've done with that can you all see that if I moved off camera is I've, I'm filling in the grooves with my embossing pen this is impossible to do if you don't have an embossing pen and I've tried many ways uh, to apply embossing without a pen and for me it just wasn't successful so I had to go and buy one and there it is 
uh, great great um, uh, tool to have on hand. Let me tell you. Now I'm just doing this one stroke each on the leaves of vellum, and I'll stretch over here, and you've got. Uh, just a simple stroke there. That's it. Now, let's get that or those items into. I might actually use tweezers. Here they are. Let's get those into the um, embossing powder. There we go. One. and three there you go all right that's that now I'm just going to heat set these now I wanted to show you this because you will realize you can set um, you can heat vellum I'm just going to take that gold embossing powder off my tweezers before I heat it because I'm going to have gold embossing powder set on them. And let me tell you, it's not the best thing to have. Okay, so let's heat these up. And look how quick it is. You don't need a lot of heat on here or a long time uh, exposure. Okay, so that's out of the road. Let's pick up the next piece. Uh, gently does it. Before it blows away. There we go. Look how quick that is. Very, very good. Make sure you get all of it. Great. That one's over there. And this is the last piece, if I can grab it. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Done. Okay. All good. All right. And that's done as well. Okay, the assembly can begin. Now also, you saw what I did with the yellow flowers in churning them up, do that also with your cardstock. Now I've used um, crumb cake in the, um, in the construction of these parts of the daisy. Look, I've used other color, oh, that was a little vigorous, wasn't it? I've used other colors like gray and browns uh, uh, when I've done this before. And there we go. All right, height and texture, remember that. Okay, and I've just torn that one a little bit, but you know, no one is going to notice. So let's get these little, uh, here's the other one, one, two. Can I see the third one? And here it is here, okay. Let's get these uh, glued on so that they will sit under the uh, all right now we've got to go down this process oh there it comes okay just a little bit of glue not on my fingers but on the flower i'm going to take a little bit of that off Now, let's, sorry, I'm just all thumbs at the moment. I think it was the excitement of being at Stampin' Up! on stage. Ooh. I was loving it. It's really professional, well put together. Lots of rich information about things to do and possibly not to do. Um, it was well worth the time and and the effort and the cost, I thought. Okay, and here's the last one. Just let's put that on there. And voila, here you go. All right, now let's put these pieces. Now, just the finest. I don't, when I'm doing layering and textures like this, and I'm sorry, I keep going off camera. I've got to remember that I have an audience there, don't I? Now, that's as much glue as I will put on there because I don't want everything glued down tight. It's not um, what I was 
wanting at all. And now I've got to just find where this will go. And I think, it, yeah, there it is. Okay. And we lower that down. Now I am going to say, see, and you've still got lots of stuff unglued. I'm going to reach for my most expensive tool kit, a uh, item of tool, a cotton bud. And I'll just remove any excess that I might have there because I don't want it to be shining at the end. There we go. I'll take a little bit of that off. That's great. Keep that to the side and do the same process with the other pieces. I'm going to take a little bit of that off there and just shed that, spread that around there. Okay. Oops. Now that will go. Uh, there. Perfect. And that's on. And this one. Let's do the same treatment for curling up the edges of the petals to give it a more realistic look. Great. And apply the, the smearest of glues. And that goes there like that. Now I'm doing this off the card before I adhere the card. And the reason I'm, before I adhere it to the card, I could do it on the card, but I'm just going to say this is the, or well, the original was the second version I made because I glued something down and I couldn't get it off. Now, look at this. This is your vellum that's been gold embossed. Now let's get that on. Smearest, uh, um, the smearest, the lightest of smears of glue. Um, and that will go over here. There we go. Now, when that dries, let me just find, when that dries, you're not going to see any of that wet vellum. I'll just put that down. Let it apply that and leave that to do its own thing. Same here. Little bit of glue. Let's get that on. And there it is there. Touching that down. Beautiful. And the final piece of this part of the puzzle is this. Okay. Voila. Okay. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. And look at that. It's, um, there's height and texture in that beautiful, beautiful piece of foliage. Right. Now, See, this is a beautiful stamp set. It really is. Now, I want to make room for the sentiment holder, and that's going to be gold embossed as well. Um, and so I just need to make sure there's enough space to hold that. And we're also going to look at putting on some foliage. Now, I've used pecan pie for this bit of foliage. Um, oh, what's happening over here? We've got a bit of recalcitrant vellum. Okay, so I used pecan pie cardstock, colored cardstock for this. And I, you, uh, I could have used soft suede or I, I wanted something lighter than the dark brown that I've used. And then I'm going to just bring this, I think, will sit over here. Now, I don't mind if that hangs over that. That's great. And I've also got some leaves here. And all that is, uh, or all they are, I should say, stamped 
on crumb cake with um, early, uh, early, early espresso or soft suede. Um, yeah, and I'm just placing them in like that. I'm just going to make sure everything does fit. Yes, it does. I might put one in there. And the last one is here. And it goes there. Okay. It's just about done. Now, here we go. Let's just do this. Once again, the tiniest of smears on our foliage. Tuck that in up here. Uh, so we've got that and you'll notice I haven't put the things on yet but I will that will go there this will go here there we go and like so fabulous now if you wanted to I'll put this in last if you wanted to to give it some more height, you could go with some dimensionals. And I'm going to do that. I didn't do dimensionals on this one, but I am going to on this one. Here we go, one. And three. And three. Mm. Here we go. Okay. Oops, oh yes, that's where they lifted off with the exuberance that I applied in leaf curling. Okay, and, and, and there we go. Now, let's get that onto the page. And I don't know that I have, oops. Let's give ourselves a bit of space. I think that's good okay let's go and apply now just get these in see I don't apply glue to everything every part of the the um, element give that a bit of a push down this one is the same And that goes in there, like so. Let's uh, the last one. Uh, sometimes when I'm concentrating, I just break out in Deutsch from a time living over there. Actually, this one is going to go in here. I think that's good, yeah. There, lifting up. Yes, and that one's in, that one's in. Great. All right. It's looking good. Now, what I did here was wishing you the brightest birthday. And so let's get that underway. I'll get the embossing buddy out. Give that a bit of an emboss. Okay. And oh, what do I need? This. And that will... Uh, where's the first mark? Here it is. There we go. Just get that out of the road. Okay. And apply that there. Okay, that's as good as even. And this will now go here and that ends there ah oh, look at that don't you love it when a plan comes together Just give that a quick wipe okay a little uneven in terms of its placement but I've got a solution for that too uh, when I first started crafting about 12 months ago I would have oh, it would have been a bex and a hot lie down because I wouldn't have known how to fix that and uh, I've had to have taken myself to my room with my vapors here we go 
just invest that. There we go, it's coming along now nicely. Give that a little bit of push down, that too. And there you go. Voila. Okay, let that cool for a second. Put that back over there. All right. Now, remember how we used our blending brush to give us this color? We used the Daffodil Delight and also Crumb Cake. So I've still got the blending brush here. And I'm just going to... A bit more. That's good. Okay, I'm just going to give that a bit of a rub over so that we've got that um, uh, bit of colour and here we go. Now, the video stopped halfway through what I was saying, but I was giving this a bit of colour. I have applied it. And I didn't realize that the video had stopped on me. But so you've missed out on nothing. All I've done is ad adhered this to the uh, card and we've got it sitting at slightly elevated. I've used dimensionals to secure it and um, to give us that little bit of height there, which I really, really like. OK, we're going to just finish the assembly and then I'll let you go. So this is the base card. Oh, this is the... I don't know what you call this one. So this is the top card, this is the second card, and then this will be the base card once I score it. However, before I do that, I just want to, um, I just want to rough this one up a little bit. Hold on a sec, get rid of that. I'm sure these are getting harder to close. So I've grabbed this, I've got a pair of scissors, and I'm going to, well, some of my friends say this is called destroying the hard work you've just done but you know I like things to look different and I like it to look like well, sometimes I like it to look well loved and so here we go just applying that and I think that's pretty good no one has lost an eye or an arm no tears and it looks great okay so there we go, let's apply that and apply some glue to that. There we go. That goes on that. Vidas and uh, like that and there we go. Mm -hmm. There, voila. Love it. And I'm just going to what is that? It can be hidden. You know what it is. It was me leaving an ink pad open in my haste to make this a short video and that has occurred. And if I was smart, I would have folded it the other way. You know, the inside card will fix that. Okay, let's get this on top. And... Like that. Now, you notice I've attached everything away from the card. I haven't done that, glued that to that, and then this to that. Because if something goes wrong, you can at least... It's easier to salvage something up here than it is to... After it's... Than after it's, if it's all attached. Right. Oh, what happened there? See, you know, I was distracted by something. I'm just going to show you what that distraction was. And it was false. I thought my scoring was not straight. Or my, um, I thought my base card was a little bit wonky. Okay, and there you go. Look at that. And like I showed you at the start, I think I showed you, here is the envelope that goes with the card. I think that looks fabulous. And there. And I'll do the insert 
off here, but there's an example of the insert. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And most of all, oh, by the way, <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I will put some embellishments down here just to hide that unevenness there, but I'll do that off air. You don't need to see me rifle around in my bling drawer. Um, but there you go. I, as I said, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you next time on Michael's Card Art. And in, next time, let me just show you what I'm going to show you there. F Flight and Airy was a piece of um, DSP, designer series paper, that uh, Stampin' Up! brought out. And look, everyone has just gone excited over it. And so I'm going to show you how I did this card on the next one. And it's... Here it is. I've filled it out already. But um, I've used fussy cutting around the edges and incorporated it over the various elements to give you a sense of... Um, well, to give it a sense of realism and also a sense of play. And I really, really like this DSP. I've tried to stockpile as much as I can, but I'm going to show you how I did that next on, on the next video for Michael's Card Art. So uh, hopefully I'll see you for that. Take care. Bye.